Hello and welcome to part 20 of my Amazing Code Division Simulator Tribulation 9 Drake Speedrun series. In the previous video, I had my Nimbus Disciple finally get to the Golden Core Breakthrough, and I showed you guys how to do the Golden Core Breakthrough by using a Wood Elemental Array, and I used the Fire Cultivator that I created to check the Elemental Bonus of the Wood Array, and then I saved some back, and then I removed that cultivator that I made as a fire cultivator really just to check so I was able to leverage that to ensure that my array had the maximum elemental bonus and then I did the golden core breakthrough and when I did the golden core breakthrough I was able to get a tier 0 yen core and a tier 1 yen core so I got 320,000 golden core score and then I got 180,000 golden core score so this is about like a 500,000 total golden core score if we we're just talking and ran and regular Shandao Disciple Ways, but this is a Nimbus Disciple, but it does translate to be the same because as you can see the Golden Core quality conversion to base chi is still the same. So this guy just got 4.8 thousand and then they got 2.7 thousand base chi from both of the cores, which is the same amount that you would have from a Golden Core score of 500 thousand. So that's where we're at with this guy on day 40 and since they're Golden Core Disciple, I'm now doing meditation on this Disciple and for the Nimbus Disciples, when they get to this Born Life Breakthrough Point, they actually have an Adventure Breakthrough, which is based on their Charisma, um, their Luck, and their Social. So right now I have their stats maxed out so that when they hit that Breakthrough, the calculation for how long the Breakthrough will take to complete will be based on their current stats when they meet that bottleneck. So everything is good and I have some Luck Pills that they have consumed and then I have some in the inventory so just to make sure that they retain that high luck um, when they get to that bottleneck just because I'm using a pill to increase their luck artificially. And then in the last video, I also finished off with me stealing the Luminicore from Pit of Doom. And I'm currently in the process of stealing a lot of different items from different sects so that I can prepare for the next phase, which would be getting the needles of tribulation and being able to reduce the attainment on my Nimbus Disciple. On Nimbus Disciples, you have to be able to reduce their attainment by a lot so that you can keep them pure yin or pure yang and i'm going for pure yang so there's just a lot of items that i need to steal and you guys won't really be able to see that you uh, see how that works out until this guy gets the primal spirit because the interface is still like regular and it will change once they get the primal spirit so pretty much in this video i'll be doing the same thing and let's see firstly i want to pull up different ways to reduce attainment so I'm basically just going off of this list of methods of decreasing and using my own knowledge in terms of like how I know how to get these items that will decrease attainment. So I'm going to be stealing the imposit fruit from uh, Mount Kunlun, or maybe I have already actually don't remember. But yeah, I want to get the imposit fruit, the vine bones, which are in seven starting sec. Primeval Flesh, I don't really want to get that because there's not really an easy way to get that unless you have the Demonic Temple unlocked and it doesn't really reduce the attainment by too much. It's only two for each flesh and it's just not worth my time. And I'm going to reduce it with the Origin Forces from Mount Hunter Insects. Mount Hunter Insects has like, I believe five of each Origin Force that you can steal. So that's a really place to get it from. It's just a little bit difficult. So you only could take one at a time. And then I'm going to learn whatever manuals I can to reduce attainment. And then I'm going to use the fortune do. And typically I can't use the fortune do because it's just really hard to find it. And you have to have a sex sell in the fortune do. And I believe one of these sex does sell it. Let's see. Let's scroll down. I think it was Skydome Palace. No? Huh. I know there's at least one sect over here that sells fortune do. But mainly because my game is i have a mod that makes it so that the sex sell all of the ultra rare items whereas usually sex will only sell, sell like one and i believe sky don't will sell me a fortune to do eventually but besides that the only other way to get a fortune to do is to have a spirit root fully mature and i believe the spirit root also has to be blessed but don't quote me on that like just go to the wiki if you want to double check and then the, another way that you get the fortune to do is to like check the NPCs because a lot of the NPCs in the game have a chance to have like good items. Like in my previous videos, I had one of the disciples just casually have a dragon feces around. So sometimes you will find some NPCs with uh, fortune do, but I have never successfully found an NPC 
with the fortune do while I was practicing Nimbus Law, especially early. However, in this run, when I played, I did do like a practice run just to kind of like look around and see if there was an NPC that had the fortune do. And I did find an NPC with a fortune do. And it's an elder in Pit of Doom. So I'm going to invite that elder to my site and I'm going to roast them so that I can get the fortune do for my Nimbus cultivator to reduce their attainment by 81. So this is going to be a really, really significant um, bonus. And then the fortune do does leave your disciple unconscious for 81 days, but that doesn't really matter because you can consume it off map and just let your game run like nicely. So yeah, that's pretty much my plan and why I'm getting all these things. I definitely can't get a spirit relic, heaven shrouding talisman. I guess I, yeah, I'll need to make one of those too. And then I'll get the spirit seed from Skydome Palace. They have spirit seed and then rose of flow. I'm not sure if I can get this because I always forget which prayer coin I need. Even though I do know that I have some. So let's see if I can go and figure out what color prayer coins. Okay, so I need an orange prayer coin to do a set of clothing. Let's see if I have the orange prayer coin because I know I have like one. Oh, I think I do because this is a darker color. I believe this is the orange one. And then this one is like the yellow one, which gives money. Nice. So I can do that as well. Anyways, I brought my laundry list all the way up to, I brought my laundry list from my notepad into my game. And this is the list of things I have. And then these are the disciples that I plan on sending out. Um, for the most part, my inner disciple one has really slow movement speed. So they can't really do too much in terms of stealing because I am going to start stealing from six that require more movement speed. And I am too lazy to get the panda contract because I would have to send multiple disciples to try to kill the panda. So... I think that I'm actually going to have my inner disciple one come back to the sect early and craft some needles of tribulations while the other guys are collecting resources just because I need to make six needles of tribulation and I only have four primal spirits. So hopefully this guy can create two before all the other guys are done doing their thing so that I can start off with like two needles of tribulations and then when everyone's done, everyone comes back and make the final four in parallel. <coughs> so yeah, that's pretty much everything that I plan to do. And exactly why I'm going to do it. So, as you can see, based on my laundry list, um, I do have some disciples in like different locations already. So, I'm just going to steal from whatever sex that they're already stationed at. And then I'm going to send these guys out. So, I want to send my turtle to Mr. Unity sex so that I can get the law books that are there. And I'll just hope that the Elder with High Mental State is not there. And then I'll need to send Helper 1 to get the spirit crystal and phoenix wood so these guys don't have great movement speed but it's okay because you don't really need high movement speed to steal from mr unisec and mount sunshade so i'll be good with that and then i'll be sending my inner disciple one back to mount pitfall so that they can invite the disciple or the elder disciple to what the fortune do so yeah inner one is actually going to mount sunshade so i'm going to actually recall him back right now instead of sending him to mount sunshade because i want him to be able to invite the elder as quickly as possible because when you invite an elder they come to your sect not that when you invite an elder but when you invite anyone from another site they come to your sect within two to four days of you inviting them and so that will push it at around like day 42 and then hopefully i can roast roast them by like day 43 or something like that so that we can continue the theme of speed so speaking of that let me actually build the structure for this room that i would roast this elder in. so let's see do I have any room for any of that? I guess right here. Yeah, it's kind of weird that this poop is here, but yeah. So to, for the roasting room, you just want it to be as small as possible. And then you would just increase the temperature by placing crimson fruit or anything that increases temperature, like um, a Venus feather or something like that. And I'm planning to use a blazing feather since I have my crimson fruit planted. So for the roasting room, you just want to do a bed and then a cushion. So that when they come to your set, you assign them the bed and the cushion. And then you can destroy the bed and cushion. So, and then block off the room by building a wall right here. So I can smelt this too. So yeah, I'll show you guys what that looks like. And speaking of that, I will need to send someone to Phoenix Cliff in order to collect the blazing feather that I plan to use for roasting. And then you also can use the beast blood too. So speaking of beast blood, let me just do heavenly chaos just because I haven't done that in a while. So let's do beast sacrifice. Oh, nice. I got 800 spirits on. 
And 20 spirit doom. Okay, I'll take it. I'll gladly take that. Let's make sure these guys can eat the spirit do. I guess their cloud is the only one that's like in a position where they can eat it. Yeah, they already have really high stamina. I wonder why is that. Maybe I had them eat spirit do before. I don't eat 10 spirit do. All right. So I have enter board. I haven't set peak. And that's the only disciple that's doing anything. And then enter three is going to Mount Kulan. So now it's time to go to Heaven's Dead Peak and get the Spirit Seed and the other item that I wanted from there, which was... Psh, hmm. I honestly forget. I have it somewhere in my notes. Oh, the Phoenix Wood. Yeah, because <laughs> I need Phoenix Wood for my Needles of Tribulation formula. So I want to get this Phoenix Wood stack right here, and then I want to get the Spirit Seed and then get out of here. And so, yeah. So to steal from Skydome Palace, there's so many different ways. Um, you would first wait for this area to clear out of Elders, obviously. And then you pick up the items. And then sometimes the coast is clear. Like the only way out is through this um, hallway right here. So you kind of want to make sure this is good. And then sometimes you can go to the left and then leave out this as it. Or sometimes even this will be clear. And you can like leave out through here. And there's also a secret pathway where if you click between here, this lamppost. And then this tree, then you can get out by using a secret pathway, but it heavily relies on the pathing that shows. So as you can see, that didn't work right there. But I can show you guys. If I click this tree, you see now my disciple is now flying. So that worked this that time. So yeah, it just really depends on the pathing line. So I'm gonna let my game run. And I think this might actually take a few tries, honestly, just because Skydom can be difficult unless the easy way of like just leaving out through the front door happens. So yeah, looks like these elders are kind of clearing out. And nothing is happening over here. How much move C does this guy have? 78. Yeah, this should be really good. Okay, let's hope that these guys leave. Okay. I think I'm in a good position. What's this guy's mental state? Oh, they're unstable. Huh. Alright, so I think that I'm in a position where I could still, yeah. If I can get both of these items, then I could probably run out of this door at this point. I shouldn't need to use the secret pathway. And if I use the secret pathway, I would be flying like from here to here. And that would just keep me closer to these guys, which I don't want to do. So yeah, let's just try this out. Get just one uh, spirit seed and then the Phoenix Wood. And then if you couldn't steal from Pit of Doom, you would get the Lumina Core from here. So it just all depends on what you need. Because Skydome Palace has a lot of items to... Um, Skydome Palace has a lot of items to choose from in terms of stealing. So yeah, I mean, I got it. I have the Red Eye. I'm not quite sure why or which... Oh, because this guy... So they're a lower cultivation stage. This guy's only a cheese shaver. So I guess if I can get past them, then I should be good. Okay, we're running. And we're getting out of here. Nice. Looks like the coast is clear. I'm wondering who is around that has my guy on red eye. All right. Just casually walking out. And then this little corner right here. Oh, never mind. Let's just kind of go out through the, let's see. I thought it was this corner, huh? Okay, it was this little thing right here. Alright, I'm glad there were no elders even remotely closed, so I was able to, like, double-check that. It's been a while since I ran out the front door. But, yeah. So, the eye disappeared, so that means I can unhide and then leave. Oh, wait, what? Okay, this is weird. Let's try right about here. No. Maybe this thing right here. No. I'm playing with fire right here. Yeah, maybe this one. Let's unhide. Oh, is my hide button not working? Okay, that's weird. Why can't I leave? Okay, let's do hide. And then let's do unhide. Let's do hide. Okay. Um, I guess I just try to run out the front door. This is weird. If I get to the edge, then that would definitely be like a bug. 
but I don't know what was going on with that. <laughs> All right, I just had some weird visual bug, but I got out of there. <laughs> Not complaining. Yeah, I probably should have like double checked the exact spot that I could leave from. All right, so I got a spirit seed and the four stack of Phoenix wood. So I need to get another stack of Phoenix wood because I actually need six. They typically come in stacks of four, unless you steal from Evan Fall Bull. They have a stack of like 16 there. And then I see all of my disciples are doing something. This guy is sent out to adventure. Yeah, so things are looking good. Let's see how this meditation is going. Yeah, they are zooming through. This is the power of the Samsara pill and then having everything else like tier 12. Okay, Enter 1 is back. So now I can send Enter 1 to Pit of Doom. And then Enter 4 is also back. Let's see. Where do I want to send Enter 4 at? Um, This says Enter 4 for Sky Dome. Oh, wow. Did they come back from Sky Dome that quickly? Oh, that's scary. All right. So, hmm. I don't know. I think I'll just ignore like this thing and then just figure it out myself. So I know that I need to go to Phoenix Cliff in order to get the item that I need to increase the temperature to roast this elder. So I would do that. This has dragon feces. Okay. And then I'm just making sure that enter one is going to pit of doom. Okay, cool. Okay, dog, what do you want? And then I guess I can mark some things down. So I didn't get this, didn't get this. Definitely didn't get this. Got this. I'll just put an X right here. So Ness is then positive fruit. All right, this guy's at um, Mount Cullen, so it's time to get the positive fruit. This is another thing that's like really hard to steal from. It's very similar to Pit of Doom, so I'm hoping that I can have some good luck with it. Let's see. What's this guy's movement, movement speed at? Oh, there are 98 movement speed. Oh. This should be way easier than normal just because they have high moves speed. So right here is in positive fruit. It's on a display case, so I just have to hide and kind of wait. Or I can just try to like pick it up and then just straight run out. That's typically the method that I go for. Just because there's always just a lot of elders around here. So kind of just work with my luck. And then over here they have the stack of 20 holy stone, 4 holy stone, a lot of law manuals. Um, a lot of times I try my best to like clear out this whole area, so I just get very, very greedy. But this time I'm going to try to stay focused. But yeah, honestly, this is where I would typically steal from over here, just because these guys just hard to get rid of. This guy stuck at 50 mental state. Let's see. Oh, their base mental state is 5, so we're good on that. This guy's base mental state is 37, so both of them will leave eventually. But yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Like when I first came in the map, there were only two elders not here, but because there's a leisure station over here and there's a leisure station over here and here, the elders they kind of start to flood over here instead. So I think it is better to just go and pick up the imposter fruit in front of two elders instead of waiting for the other ones to be around or like shuffle around. And then hopefully you can just run out, but I don't know. I might have to just try my best right here and then do a stage scum. Because it doesn't look good for me right now. Not one bit. Yeah, this is full of elders. Alright. You guys want to see me try to do this? Yeah, yeah. Why not? I don't think I have any hope because all of the elders have their mental state reduced. So they're all at leisure station. So they're going to stay here. So I should have stuck with my original plan. But you know, if you have really high movement speed and you pick it up and you can like get out of there and then like sometimes it'll work sometimes, but it's very rare. I just have to be very careful and like make sure that I'm moving the millisecond that they pick this up. So they have the imposter fruit and now it's time to try to run out the front door without being detected by all of these elders. Luckily, we're a primal spirit and luckily we have 97 movement speed, which is very close to the cap. So I believe we have a chance. Okay, so far and yeah, we got out of there before these guys even realized it. Nice. So we got them positive root. That's what I mean, guys. Movement speed is king when it comes to stealing. That's all you need, honestly. And cultivation stage that helps out a lot too. 
So yeah. So I was able to steal from Skydome Palace and Mount Cullen legitly on the first try. Nice. Give myself a pat on the back for that one. And let's see what's Enter One doing. Oh, I don't think anyone's camping right now. Let's see. Yeah, everyone's still adventuring to different locations. Sky, yeah, hone your chi, my friend. Okay, Enter Two came back from adventure. What did they come back with? Oh, okay, the Phoenix Wood, and I believe the Spirit Seed. Yep. Let me just ban the Spirit Seed just because I know sometimes it, I think the dog tries to eat it sometimes. So let's just make sure that doesn't happen. Alright, so now that we have Enter Two back in the sect, let's see. I'm sending the turtle here and I'm sending the helper disciple here. And I have the spirit seed now. Let's go to my list. So I have this spirit seed. I'm gonna just bring this down here to make it make more sense. Um these two items I'll be able to get. Or at least I'm in the process of going for that. And then I got this. Oh, enter one needs to invite this guy for fortune do. So I really just need to get the origin force and boss elixirs. That's like the main thing. But I did want to send like my disciples all together to get the origin force just because it's a lot of work, honestly. So I kind of wanted to wait for everyone to get back. So I'll just send enter two to Skydome Pol I mean, seven starting sword because. I could get all of the divine bones from Seven Slaughtering Sword in one go. If I'm like really good at it. Alright, I'm really just watching Enter One because I do want to invite this disciple to my sect like, right now. Oh, nice. We're getting new locations. Alright, where's Enter Four at? Oh, there, Phoenix Cliff. Okay. Alright, it wouldn't make sense for me to wait for Ender 1 to get all the, way, all the way over there, so let's just do this. Um, for Phoenix Cliff, there's a lot of like monsters over here, and they're kind of strong, so I don't really want to fight them. So I'm just kind of going to wait until they go to sleep. And this guy only has 98 artifact power, so yeah. This thing has 4,000 um, health, which isn't that bad, but this guy right here has 5,000. It's really this guy, I guess. 7,000. Let's see how we do against some the guy with 4,000. Eh. Yeah, no. Hajon is not... Not having it. Let's have Hajon leave so that he stops getting attacked. Nope, he's still getting attacked. Oh, wow. He barely survived that. Okay. Good job. Oh, we got 50 demon high. That's a great amount. But yeah, I'm just here for the Blazing Feather. Phoenix Wood is good too. Oh, this place has two Phoenix Wood. I forgot about that. So I actually only needed one stack of Phoenix Wood because I can get the other two from here. That's good to know. So yeah, this Phoenix Wood definitely like in many different locations across the map. And then I'm pretty much just waiting for this guy to fall asleep. Let's get this other Phoenix Wood. Because I would like to have two Blazing Feathers. I don't know why. Just because. But typically I would just use a Blazing Feather. And then two Demon Beasts. Demon Blood. So. Just the one should be enough. I don't know if I can actually get this close to this guy. But I'll try it. Why not? Well there's many reasons for why I shouldn't. But. We're going to be bold. And then I'll go over here and get this one. Nice. Alright, so I got three Blazing Feathers, two Phoenix Wood, and 50 Demon Hide. I'm very satisfied with the outcome. Only thing I didn't get is this one Blazing Feather. For obvious reasons, this guy is right on top of it. I don't really want to go through that hassle because I don't need to go through that hassle because I already have everything that I need. So, yeah. Alright, now it's time for me to get these items from Mr. Unity Sec. I don't know why my I can't move my map now. Do I have to use these sliders? Okay, whatever. 
Okay. Let's do Mr. Unisec, just because I just mentioned it now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me check one thing really quickly. Need to make sure that I didn't have myself muted. Oh, I can't. Whatever. Alright, hopefully I didn't have myself muted during this gameplay. We're 25 minutes in, so I still have like 5 to like 10 minutes. Okay. Now we're in Mr. Unity sec. La 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 la. We now wait. Okay. Again, I just want to get these law manuals just so that I can have like a side, like a side source of inspiration if I need it. So I can like transcribe these like fodder laws. They are pretty high tier laws. So they're like primordial spirit and ascension laws. So I should be good at or they should be giving my disciple a great amount of inspiration. So this is going to help me like supplement the need for your pills and stuff like that. So that's why I want to get these laws. And it looks like this area cleared out, but I do want to wait a little bit until there's less activity going on. These guys are going out and about. All right. Let's try to loot all six of these laws. Oh, there's only five here. Okay. What else will I take? Um, guess a life pill. I mean, I don't really need that. I'll just leave that alone. Again, just want to watch these disciples in their pathing. Maybe I should wait until this guy goes. Let's just take this life pill just because why not? And now I'm just waiting for this guy to go over here. Okay, this guy has, uh, they don't have great moving seat, but whatever. Okay, we have the red eye. Let's fly this direction. Nice. You ever see a turtle go so fast? No. Shout out to the state contract. Yay. How much moving seat was that? That was 11.5 moving speed. So yeah, it doesn't really take much to steal from Mr. Unity sec. Let's unhide and now we can leave. So everything is coming into place. All right, now helper one is at Mount Sunsh or Sunshade Abode. I'm pressing W, A, S, and D and nothing's happening. So I guess I just have to use these sliders now for my map. Sometimes that does happen. So you just got to roll with it, honestly. Maybe I'll restart my game later on or something like that. Now, the other thing that I need is the spirit crystals. I need to have six of those. And I don't think I have any right now. So, let's just have this guy get these four spirit crystals. And then there's other sets that have spirit crystals. So, it's not that big of a deal. Then, if you want to make spirit crystals, then you can do that too. Like, I have an alchemist. So, they could probably be used to craft spirit crystals as well. Maybe I'll do that. Since my alchemy guy does have a really high alchemy yield. But yeah, my plan on here was to get the spirit crystals and the thing as well. I guess I can do that anyway, just because why not just be rich, you know? And so yeah, we're just going to wait until these elders leave. And this guy right here so that we can leave the area after stealing. And uh, yeah, just keep going. So far, I've had a really good... Um, I had a really good run on stealing these items. I haven't had to save some once. So hopefully we can continue this. Waiting for these guys to clear, clear out. But yeah, Skydome has been really good to me this run. And then so has Mr. Unity, even though it started out really hard with that one elder that had high mental state. But now they're just spawning it a bit, so I don't really have to worry about them. Oh, this guy, what are you doing? Reading a book casually. You're actually watching me while reading a book. Okay.
Yeah, honestly, like with this distance, this is about like where I would try to still if they were a primal spirit. But I'm kind of scared because they're a golden core disciple and their eye is so red. So I think I do want to just keep waiting until the eye turns gray. So yeah. Okay, it's yellow. I think this is as good as it's going to get. There's only one elder right here. And there's no elders over here. So let's go for that. Yellow eye is actually pretty rare. And I need to prioritize prioritize the spirit crystal since that's the one thing that I don't have. So yeah, let's focus on that. And then the Phoenix Wood. Nice. So we got the stack of four and now we can get out of there. Do I want this artifact? It's an this is a pretty funny artifact because it's a law manual artifact and I don't think that you can make law manuals into artifacts. So that's a pretty rare artifact. And then, I mean, I'm here and I have four slots, so why not just throw these art extra artifacts over here? So I think that I'll go for the pickaxes and then these two artifacts, since they have pretty good um, artifact power. I don't like their capacity though, but this one right here has a pretty good capacity and really high power. So maybe I'll go one, two, three, and then this has 700. This has 400 capacity, so I'll go for this one. Capacity is really, really important. So yeah, we just fly in there and then we can loot. I'll go for Devil Sphere and then uh, this one and then these two. Oh, Eastern Time Sword is pretty good too, but that has a pretty high capacity and is wood element. All right. So now I have four more artifacts that I can slap on my disciples, kind of make them a little bit stronger. And I have four spirit crystals and more Phoenix wood. So yeah, things are looking good. Shout out to the secret pathways. All right, do I have anyone else camping anywhere? Oh, I need inner one to go to Mount Pitfall. Then I need this guy to go to Mount Blackstone. All right. Yeah, we're on a really good pace. How's this guy's meditation going? It's going amazingly. All right, Enter One is now camped and we're 41. We're exactly on like day 41. Ooh, I forgot to save some day 41. Oh. Oh, wow. We got Tribulation Ash, nice. This is about the same as getting 25 Angry Soul Gems and that's what I, do, what I really wanted to save some for. So luckily, <laughs> we're saved. Shout out to RNG, you know, you don't always have to uh, save scum. Get what you want. I'm happy about that, like super happy. And Tribulation Ash is better than the Angry Soul Gem outcome because it's super cheap. Like I'm trading thin pants for it. Nice. Super happy about that one. We got so lucky there. Okay. Oh, they have Summer Herb here? Okay. Heaven's Breath. Oh, nice. They're selling Spirit Crystals too, so... I should be good on Spirit Crystals then. Five Spirit Crystals. These are really expensive, but... I'm also really rich, so I guess it doesn't matter. Like, psh, easy money. Okay. So what do I want to trade for this? I could do Spirit Wood, but then I do also have some other... Items that might be worth selling. Trying to be a little bit conservative with my other items, but what can you say? What if I did 50? Oh, 50 spirit wood is like almost perfectly enough. Let's do, yeah. So it should have been 48. All right, I guess that's good enough. This is actually really overpriced, but I kind of just don't care right now. Because I'll, like, I'll always have more spirit wood. I'm pretty sure there's even spirit wood like around here. Yeah. So I'll be good on that. Let's chop some down. This is me being distracted. Doing things that I don't need to do. But that's what games are about, you know, just having fun. Even though you're trying to be a little bit optimized. 
Okay. Oh, I don't want to be near this bull. Let's chop this down. I don't think there's any hostile animals over here except for the snake. Then there's a tiger over here, but they shouldn't be roaming that far. So this should give me back like at least 10 spirit wood. And then besides that, I did notice that I have a lot of demon beast hide, so I do want to craft some demon beast hide clothing. Assuming that my guy has really good tailor level. Yeah, Mao Tungu. This guy has everything. So let's make you a tailor. And then I'm going to turn this off for everyone else. Because this guy has good tailoring and artist Henry. They are the full catch. So let's do it like this. I want to make demon hide, thin pants, because thin clothings are the best. And then I'll do demon hide, thin shirt over here. And I have a 12 sec limit, so I'm going to make 12 of each. Alright, so that's good. And now it's time to have this guy event invite the guy with the fortune do. So yeah. So I'm not planning to steal anything thing from here, so it's gonna be really quick. Um, the guy with the fortune do is Zongle Di, and this is actually the elder that I was like kind of begging to leave that one time when I was trying to um, steal from here the Lumina Core. So as you can see, they have fortune do in their inventory, so I can invite them to my sec, and then I can roast them, and it's still their fortune do. And I'll show you guys how to roast when I get to that point, but. Typically, I don't really play with roasting, but I am like extremely desperate for the fortune do, honestly, since I've never had it and I would love to use it. So I'm going to roast this guy because I mean, I don't really care like if you roast or not. And I just don't roast because the main reason why I roasted previously was so that I can get tier 12 talismans. And obviously, I found an alternative way to make tier 12 talismans without roasting. And I find that way to be more fun. Like it's fun, like getting disciples up to primordial spirit as quickly as possible and then finding a way to allow them to like do refinements and then farming the English soul gems and doing all of that, like together. Like I find it like all of that, like super fun. But if you don't find that fun and you like roasting instead for free tier 12 I, um, talismans, then I would recommend you do that. But there is a good amount of micromanagement involved in roasting too. So it's just a give and take on what you want to do. But yeah, when I was off screen, like I went through all of these disciples and then I just checked their inventories and I looked for the ones that had the fortune do. And then some of them have spirit seat do that's not fortune do, even though they have the same icon, so that can get annoying. But yeah. And the good thing about roasting elders is when you roast them, like you take their items, but when they go back into their sect, assuming that you heal them, you don't just let them die of a heat stroke, then they actually come, they still have the items back. So you can infinitely, like, get that item over and over again as long as that elder disciple is alive so yeah that's super overpowered so yeah i invited that guy to my sect and now i'm going to do the last thing which is still from sss sect and then in the next video i'll show you guys me stealing from uh, um 100 insects for the origin force because that one is going to take a lot of brain power honestly but even seven slaughtering sword takes a lot of brain power so let me think about it uh yeah i mean we're already 38 minutes in and i typically want my videos to be 35 minutes long so i think i'm actually just going to stop here because i'm just thinking about how seven story and sect is a whole thing in itself too so i'll show you guys how to do that in the next video so yeah um in this video i was able to continue to collect the materials that i need to reduce entertainment on my disciple which are the spirit seed and the other things and speaking of that, let me actually go and do the get the clothing at the very least. Let's do the prayer coin thing. It's not that bad if the video is like 40 minutes. Let's see. All right, so I have the prayer coin right here. Let me have this guy rub the prayer coin because this is a very simple task. Okay, so they rub the coin and then I got this from the spring festival man. After my disciples ate the dumplings, they dropped the coins. So I have she may equip this coin, and then I have she may equip the other coin. Then let's talk to the first dragon. 
and the clothes that you get that reduce the attainment are based on whether or not they are a boy or a girl and this guy is a male so yeah we're going to go for the ones for males okay she my let's talk to the torch torch dragon let's give him this one okay this one gives spirit stone so this gives 8,888 spirit stones, so I'm now I'm rich. Then this one gives clothes, so I want the one that works for a guy, so I believe it's cloth. So I want cloth that um, help you with exploiting the ways of heaven, so that will reduce your attainment. So, yeah. And this also increases mental state, so super good. So this decreases attainment. <coughs> this decreases attainment, and then it reduces mental state. I mean, increases mental state by 45. So I'm pretty much on track to have like every item that I can use to reduce attainment. All right. So I'll end the video here. So now I was able to collect different items to reduce attainment for my disciple. And I was also able to collect items to have a recipe to create the needles of tribulation, which is a legacy artifact. So in this video, I'll show you guys how to steal from seven slaughtering store to get the divine bones to reduce attainment. And then I'll also show you guys how to steal from 100 insects. To get the origin force to reduce attainment for the disciple and how to use that and this guy will also be cultivating to primal the spirit pretty soon now they've reached the adventure breakthrough and yeah they were able to reach it with the blessed pill bonus still there so i'm going to send this guy out to camp to a different location so that he can start their breakthrough um the nimbus disciples adventure breakthrough is four days long but if you have all of these stats maxed out you can pretty much half that so this breakthrough should take around like two days so i expect them to be done with this breakthrough at like 43 and then we'll be able to bring this guy all the way up to primal spirit shortly after that so probably around like day 44 or 45 and then hopefully we'll have all of the materials collected and be able to like move on to the next phase and be able to fight the dragon after learning all of the manuals and good stuff like that so yeah thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed watching or at least learned something and i'll see you guys in the next video later